Hi, I'm Marius from MWS Photography and in this video we are going to look at the new RAW extension for Photomate. Now previously when you opened a RAW file in Photomate it only used the JPEG file that's embedded within the RAW file and not the actual RAW data. Now to enable this function you're obviously going to first need to install Photomate and then once the program is installed go to more options here at the top so when I choose that I can just scroll down to the bottom to preferences choose that and then scroll down here to extensions choose that and you're gonna see the raw extension now when you choose that function there you enable it it's gonna tell you that you can now buy this extension or you can try it out now you can try this feature out for 12 hours for free and then to buy it just choose buy extension then go to the play store and then you can just buy it from here. Now once you have purchased the raw extension you can just enable it right there. Now below that a new option will become available, raw extension mode. So when I choose that I'm going to get a few options. Now you can tell the raw extension to always open up a raw file and decode it or you can tell it to only decode a raw file when you're editing the image. Now obviously a JPEG will display a lot faster than a RAW file. So if you want, if you want to just first show the image to some to someone, it will open up quickly, and the moment you go to edit XMP, it will then decode the image. I'm just going to choose that only when I'm editing an image. I'm going to go back to the main view, and then I'm going to find some RAW files. I'm going to scroll down here, and then we're going to edit these first three images right there. So I'm going to go to the first one. I'm going to get a larger view right here, just select that. And now it's opening the JPEG file. You'll notice it was very quick. And now a very nice new feature that they've added in here are these clipping markers right there. You can, uh, all the options to select the clipping markers. For instance, this one here right in the corner and the left side is to enable the clipping markers to see where you've lost detail in the shadow areas of the image. And this one right here allows you to see where you've got clipping in the highlights. So if I'm going to enable that, you're going to see here all over where we've lost a lot of detail in the highlights. All right, so now to show you the difference between the JPEG and then the actual raw data, I'm going to go here to edit XMP. And it's going to tell me that the top decoding raw data, it takes a few seconds. And the moment it's done, just look at this section right there and you'll notice a lot more information in the highlights. So now we can quickly edit this image and I'm gonna increase the brightness by say plus two. I'm gonna increase the full light by plus two. And also a little bit of the contrast, also plus two. And then the blacks, I'm gonna make it say plus one. You'll notice I got the image to look very nice without losing any detail in that section. So I'm just going to scroll down and I'm going to choose Save XMP Side File because after we've edited these three images, I'm going to batch convert them. So you can see how that works as well. I'm going to go back, back. So now we can choose the second image. And this was a very nice photo bomb moment if you look here in the background when. I took the image. So now it's quickly first loading the JPEG file it's embedded. And then when we enable the highlight clipping indicator right there, we can see here uh, that we've lost a lot of detail in the JPEG. So I'm going to go to edit XMP. And then we're just going to wait a few seconds for the uh, raw data to be decoded. And you'll see that we've gained a lot of detail in the highlights. Right, now let's quickly first edit this one as well. I'm going to again add a little bit of brightness there and I'm going to add some contrast and also some full light. Maybe just a little bit of full light and then a little bit of the blacks. And I think we can warm up this image a little. All right, so when I'm done, I just go to save XMP. And in the third image, I chose specifically for high ISO. And if you look here when the image opens up, you'll notice that I shot it at ISO 3200. 
Now when I zoom closer, you can see it has noise reduction already applied by the JPEG file. I'm going to zoom back a little and I'm going to go to edit XMP and the moment the file has been decoded, we can zoom a little closer and you'll notice there's a lot more noise because of the raw file. So now we can fine tune the noise reduction ourselves. So I'm going to do a very slight adjustment on this image. I'm just going to increase the brightness a little and then increase the full light a little and the blacks. And then I'm going to go to another bunch of new settings that's been added in, which is very nice. We're going to sharpen the image and then also do the noise reduction and also color noise reduction. So normally we only had the clarity there. Now we've got an entire new section here for sharpness and noise reduction. So I'm going to sharpen it a little and it's also going to bring out a lot more noise right here. And then I'm going to add a little bit of the noise reduction, not too much, otherwise the image will become way too soft. That might already have been too much maybe. So then I'm going to go here to color noise. Now notice the color noise in the image. And the moment I increase the color noise slider, you can see it cleans it up very nicely. Maybe even add a little bit less of the noise reduction. Yeah, I think that looks great. So now we're done with that. I can just go to save XMP file. I'm going to go back. Now I need to select these three files. So I'm going to go to more options there at the top. I'm going to choose multi-select. I'm going to select the three images. And I'm going to choose the option to go to the batch conversion. And now here I've already chosen the directory edits where it's going to save the files. And we can also go here to um, choose size. Now the nice part of the batch conversion is that you can now render full resolution if I go here to choose size. I can choose maximum and on a device that's only got one gig of RAM, it will still render that full maximum resolution file. I'm not going to choose 800 pixels. It's just going to make it a lot faster. And then I'm going to go to red render XMP settings. I'm going to make sure that is selected. Otherwise, it's not going to um, apply all the settings that we've just done all the editing. And we can see a convert to JPEG only. That's perfectly fine. And we can also go to choose quality and choose the quality we want the file to be. And then we just choose start now. Now there's another cool feature that's been added in the new release. And that you can now see what's going on. It's not just rendering the files. It's now showing you it's opening the file. It's doing all the editing. It's saving the output file. And it's showing you how many photos has been edited. You can see there one of three and it's now at 33%. So it makes it a lot easier for you to see exactly where you're going if you are maybe editing like 100 pictures or something like that. Now it's almost done and it's going to open up the file and here we can see if I choose the image we've now got a 800 pixels file. So that's that for this video on the raw extension and please also visit the Photomate website for more videos like this and then I will see you in the next one.